That's right. Governors of three other states are also being sued, including Texas, Ohio, and Iowa. The group saying abortion shouldn't be ruled elective, adding those who need them don't have time to wait. Dealing with the COVID-19 crisis, hospitals across the country are postponing elective procedures. Abortion, with rare exceptions, falling into that category here in Oklahoma. It is critical that we do everything to make sure that access to abortion care is protected. Now Planned Parenthood, the Center for Reproductive Rights, and the ACLU have filed suit against the governors of four states, including Oklahoma. Challenging what has been a trend by Republican governors to use the COVID-19 public health response to try to limit access to abortion care. It seeks an injunction that allows folks to provide that critical abortion access to continue to practice. The attorney general speaking on behalf of the governor, sending me this statement saying it attacks the governor's executive order. Make no mistake, this lawsuit will itself drain significant resources, medical and legal, from emergency efforts and likely, directly and indirectly, bring harm to Oklahomans as a result. What's your response to that? The real harm here is limiting abortion access. What we're doing is simply protecting access to a healthcare procedure that is medically safe but is also time sensitive. The filing shown here claiming the governor's decision violates constitutional rights and risks the health and safety of patients. I think that the inclusion of abortion to governor's death list of elective procedures was an afterthought. It's a decision that he will never personally be faced with, but for the folks who are, it is definitely a necessary procedure. The attorney general went on to call the lawsuit a blatant disregard for escalating illness and death this pandemic has caused here in Oklahoma and says he'll continue to defend the governor's order. Live at the Capitol, Portia Riley, KOCO 5 News.